Here's our 14 foot stealth raft, tilt trailer, anchor nest. There's the tilt there. Here's the anchor nest. Pontoons that we make. G2 boat buckles. Thirteen inch custom wheels. Eight horse Mercury, Rock Hopper, Transom Saver. LED lights, lots of rollers to catch so the boat goes on and off really easy. The tilt trailer is really amazing. Trailer built by us to our specs, heavy duty, whitewater boat. We're gonna show it motoring around and rowing around here. One cool thing about this boat is the trailer. The trailer is completely designed for the boat. The reason we build it the way it is, we have these rollers under here to help hold the boat up when it's not going down the, well, when it's not being used. So you can take the air out of these so there's no pressure on these and the whole hull sits on the rollers. Another thing, this is a shallow lake and you know, this tilt feature that you're going to see is really great. So you, you don't have to get the boat really deep in the water. If you're in a bad boat ramp situation, it'll, it'll work really well. You can see the whole thing's in a tilt right now. So you can get out in and out of the most skinny water situation you want. The tilt really is a nice feature. down here is basically a catwalk. <laughs> so on the last video that we did last year, you could see that it was an older boat that we had the blue tunes and stuff. This is our new pontoons, 25 inches. The boat self bails right now, being I have the motor in it, I have the drain plugs in, but if I was using it as a raft on the river, I would take the um, the oars or the drain plugs out. The one thing that's really neat about this boat is it is very modular, so you could take this out. We make, this is glassed in, but we make it so you can have it out and you can just have everything out and just have this great, you know, level casting platform. I'm, I can walk all around. We forgot rods today, but three rods will go in here. This is, like I say, this is our 14. The 16's got a little bit more room. It's not quite as rollable as this one. This one definitely goes better. But a lot of times I'm sending up here fishing. Another great thing is these motor around great, a lot better than a drift boat. Um, comparably to, uh, um, to anything else riverboat related. You know, if you'll see it zips around here with this little eight horse pretty good. And um, I'll show you a little bit of rowing around here. Obviously it's not moving water, but you can still get the, the program. We rode it around in the other video some, but we wanted to get a, a little bit of a picture of our, of our new boat with, the, with our tunes and everything set up that way. You'll see that it's got a nice manual style anchor system. It goes up and down pretty easy, just like a drift boat. You need a little bit, these are, uh, you'd probably need 9, 6, or 10 foot oars. I believe these are 10, because it's just wide, because you have the cockpit here. 
But that also is why it floats so high. Um, just because of the wide platform that we have here. And you can see here, I mean, it'll be tough to beach it. We just beached it and then entered to the water with the motor on it. So. As far as practicality, like I say, they're not quite as sexy as a, uh, as a drift boat, but they really are a great 